Hello, this is Vijay Vasu, author, speaker, and founder at LearnToLiveAcademy.com. It is my pleasure to have you here watching this video today and taking this important step to learn about diet. I welcome you back to LearnToLiveAcademy.com. Today we are going to talk about balanced diet. What should be a balanced diet and how a balanced diet should be and uh, what are the things that which we need to keep in mind when we talk about a balanced diet. A balanced diet, I put together a small framework consisting of five different steps so that it is easy for everyone to follow and understand how exactly we need to split our diet into five important steps. There are five important things that which you know we need to concentrate and uh, we need to understand that how they work on our body. Now diet plays a major role in the human life and anatomy. We take a lot of pressure eating our favorite foods. It is an enjoyment we have food in every occasion or for every occasion. It is one of the important things that uh, satisfies human beings. It is one of the greatest gifts for human beings. Today, there is good amount of food everywhere and there is a wide variety of food available. We live in a generation we don't anymore struggle for food. It is abundant and it is everywhere. With that, it becomes very important for us to understand what is good and what is bad food. Food started to reflect on our body it is just a saying that we look the way we eat. Well, whatever we eat, it impacts our size, health and looks. So it is time for under us to understand how exactly a balanced diet should be. Not only providing satisfaction to us, but also providing nutrition to have a better health. Now what to eat and what, to not, what not to eat is another important factor. To understand that, though it is simple, it's very important and it is time for us to understand what is a balanced diet. There are five important things associated to bring that balance. Now let us uh, take a look at what are those five important things that which we should keep in our mind when we talk about a balanced diet. A balanced diet consists of uh, carbohydrates, protein, vegetables, fruits and fats. The five important factors that is part of a balanced diet consists of all these five different food. It is very funny to say some of us just consume more of one or the other just because we all have our favorites. Some diets are also misleading but as per my opinion diet should be balanced to help us satisfy and as well as it should provide enough of nutrition to keep a good health and energy on a daily basis. Now this way of dividing and eating food not only brings satisfaction but also brings health. I do not recommend anyone eating medications and vitamins from the counter 
Instead, I want you to consider eating real food to bring that vitamins into your body. Food not only fills your stomach, it provides macronutrients for your overall health and fitness. Do not just rely on medicines and vitamins until unless it is recommended by your doctor and it is necessary for your health. First thing is you will never go wrong with food even if you consume more than what you need. But eating vitamins in the form of pills goes beyond the recommended dose can create health issues. If your doctor recommends, it may be necessary for you to have them in a recommended dosage. So the disclaimer here is, if your doctor recommends and uh, it's, it's your health, uh, have some concerns having certain food, you may consider going to the doctor and get their recommendations and consider eating you know the counter medicines or um, drugs or vitamins so let us take a look at uh, what are the different things and how, how they work on the body and how much amount you need to eat to bring that happiness and health Let's take a look at uh, this food pyramid. A pyramid consists of uh, all the different kinds of food. But if you look at the pyramid, you will know if you start from the bottom, um, the major food item that has to be considered to keep our energy level is the carbohydrates. Carbohydrates gives instant energy and that's the major food item that which you will be eating on a daily basis. Now from this food pyramid, the major part of your meal consists of carbs and carbs comes in two different forms. Some are simple carbohydrates and other are, others are complex carbs. Simple carbohydrates mostly comes from bread, cereal, rice or grain groups. Carbohydrates provides instant energy and it is the major contributor of our energy. Consumption of carbs depends on how many calories you burn per day. If you are working outside and you have to do a lot of physical activity, then what you need to get that energy, you probably need to eat more carbohydrates. If you are working in an office and a sitting job where probably you may not need that many carbs in a day. So consider eating the amount of the carbohydrates that is needed for your body. That comes to a calculation and we will talk about that in some other videos. The next one is the fruits and vegetables are also considered as carbohydrates but they are complex carbs with lots of fiber but the calories are very less compared with the bread or a grain group there are more fiber vitamins and minerals in this group than carbohydrates of course there is sugars when you talk about fruits some fruits are sweet and they have lots of sugar too and once again, sugars are simple carbs. Then comes the protein group. That's the third group in the pyramid. Your protein mainly comes from dairy, meat, beans, nuts. This group not only provides proteins, but also provides some carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, and fats. This is a major group that provides a good amount of protein on a daily basis so it's a necessary to consume some of this protein group on a daily basis to provide enough of protein to your body protein is very important and it is everywhere in our 
body and every part of our body have proteins. Now if you take an example, your nails, skin, eyes, hair, every one of these requires good amount of protein and it consists of a lot of proteins to make it look healthy and you will feel healthy. Now the last one comes as the fats. Now direct consumption of fats should be limited because too much of fat can be harmful to health. So consider sparingly eating because you tend to eat a lot of fats with all other groups of the foods because fats are part of every natural food available and as well as when we cook we put some fats into the food that which we cook normally so you may add oil butter and other things into the food that which you cook on a daily basis which sometimes it's difficult to calculate so consider eating a direct consumption of fats to a limited amount that way you won't go beyond the level of your body needs now let us also split and look at you know how, how these food has to be uh, split into percentages and figure out how to eat on a daily basis the steps that which I put here um, it's funny uh, when you look at this it, it looks like a, a pie chart but then it's not a real one um, though the percentages are differing on each of these items uh, still the size of the pie chart looks uh, same for each um, each item on this one if you see the fats is 10 percent and carbs is 30 but the size is the same um, uh, it's just a picture and it's a, it's not a real pie chart if you look at this one, you know, the, the reason I put this uh, here, uh, just to make sure that you understand, uh, you know, approximately how much amount of uh, different food items should go into our body on a daily basis with our meals. Some people, they eat three meals, some they eat more than that. And um, as per my experience and knowledge, I feel it is good to have five to six meals on a daily basis um, when I talk about six meals it's six meals should be divided in such a way that they are small meals uh, most of the time you know people what they tend to eat is three big meals and uh, um, what happens is you give your body more than what it needs at that point of time and uh, that can interfere uh, if you, if, you, if you are considering yourself um, losing weight then probably that may not be the right way of eating but we'll talk about that in some other videos though so consider eating you know at least five to six meals and probably that's the best way of eating then when you consider eating different meals then each meal approximately should be divided and when you divide that you need to understand how much of carbohydrates, proteins, fruits, vegetables and fats should go into your body. Especially when we talk about this, you know, it's just carbohydrates, proteins and fats. But then I divided that into vegetables and fruits to make sure that uh, you consider eating those things too. Normally people tend to think when I talk about carbohydrates, they just think it's uh, bread groups. It's, it's not true. So from this uh, food, uh, oh, when we look at this chart here, so we can say that direct consumption of carbohydrates should be approximately 30%. The rest of the carbs should come from uh, vegetables and fruits. So you are consuming a good amount of carbs, like 30% from the direct carb consumptions from bread groups and uh, then we have vegetables and fruits too. So totally you are considering eating approximately 70% of your food items is coming from carbohydrates. Now this is for a normal person who 
uh, on a regular basis do not do uh, much of a physical activity um, outside or uh, who is not going to gym and doing some kind of workout it also provides enough of energy and vitamins by eating carbohydrates vegetables and fruits so the consumption of 30 percent of direct carbohydrates and consider eating 15 percent of your diet with fruits and the rest 25 percent with vegetables this apart from providing complex carbs they also provide good amount of vitamins minerals and fiber for our body proper functioning then comes the protein protein plays a major role in your body development in fact every part of your body consists of protein you not only build and maintain your muscles using protein but your nails hair skin etc needs good amount of protein so you need to consider eating at least 20 percent of your protein with every meal you have if you do not do strength training or rigorous workouts then consumption must be approximately 20 percent but if you go out and do outside work physical work and if you're doing some kind of strength training then your body may need approximately 30 to 40 percent of proteins in every meal Consumption of fat is also important for your health. So 10% of direct fat consumption is important to maintain and regulate your body function. Some foods are dissolved only in fat and that becomes important for us to consume fat on a daily basis. Some of the vitamins and minerals that which we consume will melt only with the help of the fats and some of your body needs fats to function properly so consuming fat is not a bad thing though it is considered that it can impact our health in a bad way if we eat more than what we need but we should consider eating some of the fats directly so that it provides enough of nutrition to our body but anything, if you do not do any kind of uh, physical, rigorous physical activity, then a 10% of consumption of fats will be fine and it will provide enough of nutrition to your body. So, it is very important. It's, it's a not um, a hard and fast rule, but it is a general rule of thumb. And if you look at this chart, it is easy to figure out that how much amount will be going into different food items and how to eat on a daily basis. As for well, one important thing is, rather than having three big meals, consider eating smaller meals frequently, at least five to six times on a daily basis. To learn more about um, health, diet, exercise, and how to rest, or for some motivation, watch our videos, blog, and downloads. Once again, this is Vijay Vasu, author, speaker, and founder at LearnToLiveAcademy.com. It was wonderful sharing this video with you, and thanks for watching. If you like this video, do not forget to share your comments and likes on the Facebook. Thanks for watching and have a great day.